I'm Rafa Francesco of Jiu Jitsu. In this video, we're gonna learn how to do a basic Toriano pass that can be used either for Gi or no Gi. First of all, I need to establish inside position in his legs, okay? So if his feet are pointing up towards my chest, I always need to find a pummeling with my hands when I'm gonna have inside position. If he brings his, his his feet back on the inside of my biceps, I'm not gonna get anywhere. I always need to manage to have inside position on him, okay? So once I get inside position, I'm gonna have one hand on his knee, and the other hand, I wanna control his hip like that. My elbow has to stay inside his leg. So if Jake try to out palm on me with his foot on the outside and step on my chest, I always gonna open the, the elbow so he can't really bring his foot onto my chest yeah and push me away or either make a grip on my sleeve and put a lasso on me okay so to avoid that a simple way is just open your elbow keep my elbow pretty much on the crease of his knee if you try to bring the foot the foot around i just follow him this hand on the knee i want to push the knee and pin him down towards the mat. From this position, it's very important to keep my feet away from my partner. If I bring my feet close, first of all, I'm gonna be within the range, within the, his, his guard range, and also my weight is equally distributed between my feet and my hand. Once my feet are away from him, I have my weight, uh, I have my weights on, on my hands. So I have a strong pin on his, on his hip and on his knee. It's pretty much a, a plank position. Once I get to my plank position, I'm gonna start walking towards this side. So it's very important you don't cross the feet, okay? So I open my foot and I bring my foot together. I open my foot and now once I'm on his side, I'm gonna scoop this knee out of my way as I'm looking for head control and I'm fast side on the hook, palm to palm grip to stabilize my side control. So once again, I have my inside position, one hand on the knee, one hand on the hip, elbow always inside his leg, I'm gonna pin his knee down to the ground as I move my legs away from him. If he tries to palm on me with the leg, I just open my elbow wide, he's not gonna be able to step on my chest. I start walking towards the side, so I open my legs, bring the foot together, open until I pass his hip line. Now this bottom hand here, I scoop his knee out of my way, and I'm looking for a head control. Far side on the hook, palm to palm grip, and I stabilize my side control. Let's find one different angle now. So hand on knee, hand on hip, always towards the knee side, feet away from him, heavy on my hands, light on my feet, walk, 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 I pass his hip line, I scoop his knee out of the way, stabilize, uh, head control, far side on the hook, and now I have outside control on him. Eventually. This is going to happen. Once I, I'm passing his guard and I'm scooping his knee out of my way, I can't control the head and I end up having near side on the hook. If that happens, I lift him up, stabilize my seat belt, wedge the back of his, wedge his back with my knee and my foot behind his lower back, step over for my technical mount and take his back. Once again, just head away. Knee, hip, always inside position. Pain. I come to the side as I scoop away. I don't go to the head. I get a near side on the hook. Sit belt, chest closed behind his shoulder blade. Lean towards the head, step over. Pull him on your left fall to the side to finish on the back. Okay, 
two things might happen. I either gonna finish my pass if I have control, on side control, or I gonna finish my pass with my near side of the hook, which I gonna favor transition into his back. Thanks for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe.